You're all welcome back again to my channel. I see Remain Jazzad, the saxophone instructor here in this channel. And today I'm going to be teaching you Altissimo. Here in this lesson, I will be showing you the basic factors regarding the Altissimo and, of course, the Altissimo fingerings. Okay, just before I continue on this teaching, just take a look at this. You're welcome back. I'm sure you enjoyed the video. Okay, now to continue on our teaching series, I'm going to tell you the basic factors you need to consider regarding the Altissimo and of course, Altissimo fingerings. All right, now there are some certain things you need to know with respect to Altissimo before even thinking of playing the Altissimo, which I refer to as what? basic factors regarding the altissimo now um, in this teaching series we are going to consider three basic factors three basic factors regarding the altissimo now first on those factors is for you to have a clear picture of the altissimo note in your mind the first thing to consider is for you to watch have a clear picture of the Altissimo note in your mind. Secondly, make sure you tighten your end book here. And thirdly, the size of the reed you are using. Alright, this plays a vital role in your Altissimo. In my own case now, for me to successfully play my Altissimos, I like using 3.5. Alright, which will make it easy for me. All right, you cannot be using a lower size of reed and be expecting to be hitting autissimo notes. All right, okay, so you are going to find it difficult in a way. All right, so make sure you increase the size of your reed to successfully play your altissimos. Now, to talk on the altissimo fingering charts, we are going to be doing it one after the other. All right, now I'm going to start from my low C first. All right. This is my low C, and um, this is what you're gonna have. Then my C sharp. So to play my C sharp now, I'll just add this to it. All right. This is my C. This is my low C, and this is my C sharp. After this, now I'll go straight to my key D, right? One, two, three, one, two, three. Then from D, I'll head straight to my what? D sharp or E flat, alright? D sharp and E flat is still the same thing, alright? Which is what? One, two, three, one, two, three, plus this. From there, I'll go straight to my key E, which is one, two, three, one, two. From E, I go straight to my F, which is going to be what? 1, 2, 3, and 1. And from there again, I head straight to my F sharp, which can be played in two ways. Either by playing 1, 2, 3, plus my F sharp, this key, right? Or I play my auxiliary F sharp. Right, it's gonna be played as what one, two, three, one plus what auxiliary F sharp low. Right, it's still the same sound. So, this is how you achieve that this plus this particular key here auxiliary F sharp low. Is that the key? So, that is for that. Then I head straight to my key G, which is gonna be this one, two, three. All right. Then from G, I'll go to my G sharp, right? Which is this particular one. By adding this to my G, I have it as my G sharp. Alright, from my G sharp, I'll go straight to my key A, which is 1, 2. From my 
A, I will go straight to my A sharp or B flat. A sharp is the same thing as what B flat. So I can play this either by sliding from my middle C to this particular B, right? One plus this particular small key here, or I'll hold my A and add my side B flat. This is my side B flat. There are two, there are three side keys here. One, two, three. The one, the first one from the bottom. So adding it to my A now will give me my B flat. to my key B which is this alright from my B I'll go straight to my middle C and this is my middle C so from middle C now I can play my C sharp to be open alright or I will still come back to this particular C sharp but at this time with my octave key alright I will register at this point so I will have it as my C sharp. So from C sharp, I go straight now to my D, right? Which is the same thing as one, two, three, one, two, three. You notice the range is already increasing in pitch, right? Then I'll come here to my D sharp. The same thing, right? To my E, to my F, to my F sharp. F sharp to G from, A, from G to G sharp from G sharp to my A from A to B flat from B flat to my B then from B to my C alright now I'll go straight to my C sharp on the next octave this one now I just have to leave everything open assignment starts from okay now from my C sharp I'll go straight to my what my D okay now at this point at this point I'll be using my palm D this is my palm D there are three palm keys here which are what this this and this so the first one here is my D and the one in the middle is my what E flat okay and from E flat I have my F is that taking but there are some certain things well, I'm going to be showing you today regarding these particular keys. Okay, now, just like I said, from my C sharp, I will go straight to where? To my key D, which is this one. Here I'm going to start. The first key closer to you, the first palm key that is closer to you, alright? So, from my D now, I will go straight to my D sharp or my E flat, which is the same thing as this, alright? So I'll press only this. So from that particular key now, I, I'm going to play my E. How do I achieve my E? So holding this middle E flat down or this sharp down, I will add my side E to it. All right, counting from down now, one, two, three. I'm counting from up, it becomes the first key. So I'll have it as my E. And now to play my F, I'm gonna have it as this. This was what I had initially to be my E, so I'll just add this F to it. Now, alternatively, you can play both your E and F in this manner by holding down your auxiliary F. This is what I have as my auxiliary F, all right? That is a key, that is a curved key, all right? Just above your B so that is your auxiliary F so when I hold my auxiliary F I'll press down my C and I'll press down my G so that's going to give me my E okay and by the time I release my finger from this G I'll now be left with what auxiliary F and this C together so that will give me my F I will play my F sharp. 
How do I play my F sharp? And now to play my F sharp, I will hold down my auxiliary F, right? This key plus my C, and what? Um, with my auxiliary F sharp high, all right? There are two auxiliary F sharp here. The first one here is auxiliary F sharp low, and this one is auxiliary F sharp high. So together with it now, I'll have it as my word F sharp. Okay, so from there now, I can now go to my altissimo G. And to play my altissimo G, I will have it in this way. One, three, all right, there are many ways, there are many ways to play this, but easy to, to play to, to achieve this easily, all right. More like I'm showing you your basic fingering charts to your Tissimo now, right? Now to get this done easily, you hold one, three, all right? One, three. That will give us our autism G. Now to play my Altissimo G sharp, it's very easy. All I need to do is to add a particular key to this my Altissimo G. And the key I'm going to add to it is going to be my side C. Alright? Look at these keys. One, two, three. There are three side keys here as I, I, as I mentioned earlier. Right? One, two, three. The one in the middle is your side C. Okay? This is side B flat, side C, side E. So what you are going to do to have your G sharp is just for you to add side C to your altissimo G. When you add side C to your altissimo G, you have it as what G sharp. Here has gonna sound. Alright. Now from there you go straight to your altissimo A. Basically, uh, you can have your altissimo A like this your middle C plus your G. Only these two keys can give you your altissimo A. Alright, now to play your A sharp or B flat, what you're gonna do is to add this same side C to your altissimo A and you have it as your what? A sharp or B flat. To play your altissimo um, B, what you're gonna have is what? your palm D, all right? Your palm D now will give you your what? Altissimo B, all right? Now from there, you are going straight to your what? C, all right? So this, you are going to have as your C. Either you press this, only, only this, your um, palm E flat, or you just add it to your what? Your palm D, and you have it as your what? Altissimo C, right? And now to play your C sharp, what you are going to do is very easy. All you just need to do is just to add your palm F to this key. Alright? You add your palm F to your palm E flat that gave you your what? Your Otissimo C. Then you have it as Otissimo C sharp. So meaning I'm going to press more like to play it easily now, meaning I'm going to press down the entire three palm keys now. Now I have it as my C sharp. Now to go to the other D now, what I'm going to do is very easy. So I will hold this particular key, my auxiliary F plus my C, my G. And of course, with this, so I'll have it as my word, Otissimo D. This time around now. And now I'm gonna be playing the entire Altissimo, right? Just watch how it goes. Starting from my C, middle C, so I'm gonna have it as. G. 
faut du chap. Fortissimo et. Fortissimo et chap. Fortissimo B. Fortissimo C. Fortissimo C chap. Fortissimo D. And that is how to play your Ortissimo. Please, if you find this class interesting, I'd like you to make sure you give it a thumb up like, drop a comment, right? And um, if you've not subscribed to this channel, I need you to kindly subscribe to the channel. And um, for your intensive one-on-one -on -one saxophone training course, you can reach out to me by calling the number right on the screen.